everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel. Welcome to the second edition of Cujo's Comic Book Haul. This is a weekly series where I basically go over my comic book pickups for the week and basically just try to get a conversation going because I love talking about comic books and why the hell not? Without further ado, let's get started. So first up on my list is... Avengers number 680. It is the uh, still the Avengers No Surrender storyline is part six. As I said, this is a weekly uh, title now. I was a little, I think I said it last week, I was a little nervous when they decided to, to do this weekly, but uh, I think the storyline's worked out really well. Uh, it is part six, and honestly, I'm having a blast reading this, so definitely recommend picking this up. Up next, Miss Marvel, number 27. Yes, I actually like Kamala Khan uh, as a character, and I like her story. I think this is uh, maybe not the best written stuff, but uh, still very good. A little preachy, yes, but whatever. I'm enjoying it. That's all that's important. But I still enjoy it, so that's all that matters. Up next is... The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows, number 16. This is the beginning of a new story arc called Fast Times at Midtown High, which is a, a play on words uh, for the movie. I think it's uh, Fast Times at Ridgemount High. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, this one, uh, this issue has uh, Annie on the front of it, which is the, who is the daughter of, of uh, Mary Jane and Peter. And uh, this is a really good series. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say uh, that it's actually like a really good Spider-Man series for Spider-Man fans who don't like Dan Slott's writing. And I, I do agree. As far as the title itself goes, Renew Your Vows is really good. And I'm looking forward to see what they do with uh, Spider-Ling, as she's called. At least up until like now, I think she's going to get a new name. But I don't know. We'll see. Up next, we have Titans, number 20. I'm really enjoying this series. A uh, funny story about, about this series. I actually didn't start picking this up until... I don't remember the first issue I picked up. I think it was like number 12, if I'm not mistaken. It was during uh, the Lazarus Contract uh, story crossover between uh, the Titans, the uh, Deathstroke... Teen Titans, and I think there was an annual. I think it was either it was either Deathstroke or Teen Teen Titans annual. I don't remember. I think it was Teen Titans. I'm leaning more towards that. But uh, I really enjoyed Titans, and I was like, I gotta start picking this up. So I did, and I haven't looked back. It's a really good uh, comic book series so far, and I I highly recommend picking this up. Up next. Star Wars, Darth Vader, number 11. This is the only Star Wars comic book I pick up. I used to pick up Dr. Aphra, but I stopped after the Screaming Citadel story arc. I wasn't really enjoying that whole thing. I mean, it was okay. It started off really good, but progressively it got a little worse, at least for me. Uh, and Dr. Aphra, I, I don't know what it is. I just kind of lost interest in it. Um, and there is a ton of Star Wars comic books, but Darth Vader is one of my favorite characters. And this, this series, really awesome. I can't recommend this enough. Up next, X-Men Blue, number 21. Venom's on the cover of this, so I'm pretty sure that means he's involved somehow. Uh, of course, comic book covers are very misleading at times, so... You never know. Uh, the story arc is Poison X. It is the beginning of a new story arc. Actually, I think this was touched upon in the annual issue, but I didn't pick that up, unfortunately. So I have no knowledge of the Poison X storyline going in. I'm going in blind. Sometimes I prefer it that way. Not to mention, I love the little skull and crossbone thing right there. That's really cool. Up next, The Flash, number 40. I love this series. I absolutely love it. Is it my favorite DC title? Possibly. I like Green Lanterns as well. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, The Flash, 
friggin' awesome. Absolutely love this. And uh, issue number 40, Gorilla Grodd is coming back. Actually, he's already back. What am I talking about? <laughs> Definitely looking forward to reading this. And finally, the last comic book in my comic book haul, Captain America, number 698. This is the beginning of the Out of Time storyline. As you can see, Captain America has been frozen in ice. That is how the last issue ended. I'm really enjoying Mark Wade's run on this title. I, I enjoyed Nick Spencer's run. I know a lot of people didn't like it, and that's viewed as a controversial statement in itself, but... And if you guys saw my Secret Empire review, you would know I really love that storyline. And I honestly think that story is going to be a classic down the road. Is that a bit of a bold statement? Possibly. But it's what I honestly think. Anyway, as far as this goes, this is classic Captain America. And I love what Mark Wade has done with, with this title. And I am definitely looking forward to seeing how this plays out. So anyway guys, that's all I have for you today for this week's edition of Cujo's Comic Book Haul. Uh, what are some of your pickups for the week? Whatever they are, throw them in the comment section below. Uh, feel free to say whatever you want regarding comic books. I absolutely love talking about this kind of stuff. So whatever you think, throw in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching guys. It really does mean a lot to me. Be sure to check out my Facebook page, my Twitter page, uh, my Instagram. Uh, links to all that is in the description below. Also, check out my Redbubble page if you want to buy any of my merchandise. That would also be very appreciated. Have a great day, guys. If you're not having a great day, I really do hope it gets better. Until next time, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.